It's still super creepy, Greg. Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today I just wanted to say thanks to my friend Greg who contacted me about my video the other day where I referred to death masks as super creepy. Now, despite never seeing him in a fedora and leather jacket and carrying a whip, Greg is actually a professional archaeologist, so he knows a lot about this kind of thing. And, you know, presumably dinosaurs. Go ahead, Greg. Take the bait. So Greg points out that death masks were actually a really common practice for hundreds of years, and I'm looking at it from a modern point of view, and that's why I see it as creepy. I actually was aware of how old this custom was, but the first time I ever encountered a death mask was in a museum with my dad as a young kid, and presumably without understanding the practice, that's why I saw it as creepy, and that impression has stayed with me ever since. But as Greg pointed out, we have to consider a pre-camera or pre-affordable camera society. Remember when we all didn't have smartphones and carried video cameras around in our pockets? In that kind of society, the only real way to remember somebody who had died was through a portrait or a bust. As these were super expensive, you couldn't really have one commissioned unless you were wealthy, which means that if somebody of lesser means died young or unexpectedly, the family would generally have a death mask created so that they could save up for a memorial and use the death mask then as a reference for the portrait or the bust. So they're not that creepy at all when you think about why they exist. But for good measure, just to make things creepy again, Greg did note that if you want to get really creepy, you should look at pictures of sleeping babies from the early days of photography because those babies are almost definitely dead. Because in the early days of photography, again, it was really expensive, so if a baby died, that's pretty much the only time you deem it an appropriate expense to have a photo taken of a baby. Thanks for lightening the mood, Greg. But in all seriousness, thanks for watching the videos and thanks for getting in contact. You know I appreciate it. So, uh, we just appreciate you shedding some professional light on the subject matter. Maybe I should have you on sometime to talk about dinosaurs. To anybody else watching these videos, if you're enjoying them, fantastic. I'm glad you like them. Um, you know how YouTube works, so click the like button and the subscribe button. It'll help put the videos in front of a much wider audience who might like them too. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. I'd love to get some more feedback and interaction with my audience. And also, if you have any topics you'd like to see me cover or discuss, let me know and I'll add it to the list. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. That's the end of today's video. It was a nice short one, but also I love shooting in daylight because actual good light. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. And in the meantime, bye.